It's set to transform the construction industry and finally address the country's housing backlog. 3D printing has been identified as a solution to sustainable human settlements. Higher Education Minister Bladen Zamande launched the pilot project at the University of Johannesburg on Friday. ENCA senior reporter Lindela Masekane was there. It comes at a cost of 6 million rand. But this 3D construction printing machine could be the solution to addressing South Africa's housing backlog. This printed model of an RDP house was produced in just eight hours. So, how does it work? You have a drawing, then you put it into the machine that reads. And then the machine, as it prints, it will count the layers to say, if the standard says the wall is 2.4, then it will count how many layers to reach 2.4. And when it arrives there, it will stop. It will not continue. So we're looking also at uh, matching the standards that we have in the country and try to improve in yeah. terms of the quality. The 3D printer is being tested at the University of Johannesburg. According to statistics, South Africa, they are... They are an estimated over 2,600 informal settlements in South Africa accommodating 1.4 million households. We have a housing crisis that cannot only be dealt with by using traditional ways of construction. It's going to be a mix. 3D printing will be part of that mix. The country's housing backlog sits at 2.3 million. Government hopes this technology will be a viable solution for human settlements. We have a partnership with the Department of Human Settlements in Wazulu Natal. We are going to be building them at Embande. Ten houses as a pilot so that they get tested how they behave in the sun, in the rain. We have to strike a balance between technology and jobs. You know, but this doesn't take the, the construction jobs away from the whole house. This just builds the walls. But now another exciting thing about jobs is that if you build houses faster, then you have got demand, more demand for more electricians, for more plumbers, which means that this technology then can actually facilitate faster job creation. Minister Bladen Zemandes' 3D printing will also deal with construction mafias in the sector and curb corruption. Slinda Lomasigan, Johannesburg.